Late primary election results have left some major shakeups to the state's moderate Democratic wing, including in northern New Mexico. That's where longtime state Senator Richard Martinez lost his primary bid to a relative newcomer. News 13's Chris McKee spoke with a man who beat Martinez. A Lano Lab employee, Leo Jaramillo, is also a Rio Arriba commissioner, but only since 2019. His victory comes as Richard Martinez was convicted of a DWI in December. I think that a large piece of it was about accountability, and I think another large piece about it was people ready for change after 20 years. They were ready for a new voice to come into the Senate to represent them in the roundhouse. And that is Leo Jaramillo's primary win. He breaks a 20-year streak for Martinez. He once chaired the powerful Senate Judiciary Committee, and indeed, Martinez sometimes sided with Republicans on key votes. After the DWI conviction last year, Martinez, who is now 66, stepped down from his leadership role, but he remained a powerful moderate vote still, even helping table legislation to legalize marijuana last session. Jaramillo announced his candidacy shortly after Martinez's conviction. KRQE political analyst Gabe Sanchez says Jaramillo's win not, is not just because of Martinez's DWI, but the overall pulse of this primary. And I think it's an indication of a change election. I think a lot of voters are basically looking at the landscape and saying we need to try something new. Voters know that I can bring people together and work well with different leaders to find solutions to the issues that we face. Now, Jaramillo says those issues he wants to focus on include diversifying his district's economy, clean water protection, and also affordable housing. He will face a Republican challenger, that's Diamantina Prado Stormont, and also a libertarian, Lee Wineland, in November. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, during the primary, Jaramillo admitted he, too, has a DWI on his record from when he was 18. He says that conviction was different from Senator Martinez's because of his age, and he says he took responsibility for the incident by pleading guilty.